Today's game marks Military Appreciation Day at Doak Campbell Stadium. Joining us on the field are current Florida State University students who are veterans and have served in Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Iraqi Freedom, the Global War on Terror, and other operations throughout the world. We honor these FSU students, including walk-on defensive back Ricardo Cannon, in addition to our many veterans who are in the stands today. We all salute those continuing to serve today as members of the National Guard and Military Reserves while students here at Florida State. We thank you. Before football, Ricardo Cannon wore the uniform of the most powerful and prestigious armed force in the world. Hung around his neck, never fail, is the memory of two fallen comrades, two spirits who he carries with him every day. As a reminder, you know, I mean, where I came from and the fact that people died doing what I did and that some people aren't here. So I try not to take things for granted. So a lot of times when you get caught up in stuff and you think that you're you know, down on life and this and that, I kind of look down on that and that's kind of a reminder. And I also do it because I don't want them to be forgotten. And there's one thing I notice, it's, it's real easy to remember somebody and praise somebody as soon as a tragedy happens, but you know, how long will they mourn you? How long will they remember you? So I keep it on me so I don't forget. Before his days in the Marine Corps, Ricardo's story reads like a tall tale, or better yet, the classic football movie we all grew up loving, Rudy. A story of a kid who was told he was never good enough for a nationally recognized Division I football team, but proved that with grueling determination and persistence, he too could play for the team he so loved. I just fell in love with the uniforms when I was a little boy. And then as I watched them, I love their style of play. They were fast and aggressive, and you know, they were all over the highlights and everything else, so they were very you know, impressive to me as a young age. But I think the uniforms would did it. Just like Rudy, in high school, Ricardo was told he wasn't good enough to play football. You know, he, he didn't think I was built to play football and thought I was gonna get hurt or whatever, so. But now today, a man who has never played a day of organized football in his life is playing for one of the most elite football programs in the nation. Never since he came here, he's really impressed me. He does a good job on the scout team for us. Um, plays safety and corner, and uh, honestly, he's one of the hardest working guys on this team. Um, great attitude and, and uh, he was a good friend. Well it's great to have him on our football team. He's, uh, he brings a little maturity out there and he's very spirited, very enthusiastic. Uh, driven, very focused and very uh, a great teammate. Will do anything for us to help us prepare to win and do situations and I mean plays hard because everything is asking. He can is a man. He can is a man. He's coming out here every day not complaining man. He just really shows you like how much you can appreciate this game. And sometimes if you forget to appreciate it, you go look at Cannon. Sure, he can fight enemies on the front line, but Ricardo Cannon wants to show the world that he has what it takes to be a soldier on the football field and take out any opponent who comes into his territory. Why? Because he's a Florida State Seminole. Uh, being a Seminole, it means everything. Because when you really embody the tradition of the school that you play for, and you really embody you know, what your program stands for, you know, toughness, strength, character, attitude, and everything else. It's something that you kind of walk with every day. From the battlefield to the football field, Ricardo Cannon symbolizes that when you give it your all, anything is possible. He accomplished his dream of walking on to the Florida State football team. I'm Samantha Barron for Seminole Sports Magazine.
War on terror and under operations throughout the world. We honor these FSU students, including walk-on defensive back Ricardo Cannon, in addition to our many veterans who are in the stands today. We also salute those continuing to serve today as members of the National Guard and military reserves while students here at Florida State. We thank you.